All right, fellow brown coats, time for the final episode of review of the day, which is War Stories. On Serenity, as Simon reviews the data he collected on his sister, Shepard Book looks over his shoulder, musing about a warrior poet named Jiang Yu. Book says one of Yu's quotes that suggests that the way to truly learn about someone is to torture them, <clears throat> and wonders if this was the purpose behind the brain surgery done on River. Simon disagrees, believing there was a specific goal the unknown surgeons were hoping to achieve. Elsewhere, the crime lord Adelaide Niska is torturing one of his men, also leading to Jiang Yu. He is ordered by a man who informed him that Mal's ship has been spotted nearby. Eager to take revenge on Mal for being the only man to ever cheat him on a deal, Niska orders that he be captured. Back on Serenity, Kaylee playfully chases River around the cargo bay for an apple she stole, despite Jane having contributed crates worth to the ship's stores. Once she takes all the apple, Kelly claims that no power in the verse can stop me. <clears throat> Amid the noise, Anora urges Mal to respect the privacy of her imminently arriving client, a local counselor of some political importance. Mal agrees to do so, as he prepares to depart on a milk run to sell off an, a shipment of stolen medicine. <clears throat> Later, Zoe and Wash puzzle over Jane's generosity as they munch on the apples. He asks why Zoe and Mal always cut up their apples, and Zoe, and Mal who joins them, Tell a war story about the time Alliance troops gave their unit apples packed with hidden grenades. Wash ironically embellishes the story, annoyed by the close friendship between Mal and his wife. Malvedas Wash's idea to approve their profit from the medicine sales by bypassing the local middlemen. Wash is surprised by this, and it's very to discover that Zoe herself had agreed with Mal's decision. <clears throat> he angrily tells Zoe that there is no room for two husbands in their marriage. As Mal prepares to leave, Wash purposely, purposely sabotages his shuttle's controls, demanding just to accompany Mal instead of Zoe. Mal reluctantly agrees. In her quarters, Anora massages the counselor, while remarking that when she chooses her rare female clients, she does so because they're extraordinary in some way. And this is the counselor's gifts is allowing Nora to relax, is allowing her herself to relax and serve her own needs as well as the counselor's. At the exchange, Mal's contacts are killed by a sniper team, and he and Wash are tied up and taken off planet. Zoe, Book, and Jane go to look for them, and quickly deduce from the evidence that Niska was responsible. On Niska's skyplex, Mel and Wash are tortured with an electroshock device. Mel deliberately, deliberately provokes Wash by s discussing his marital problems in order to keep him from passing out. The crew pulls all their money and gives it to Zoe, negotiating Niska and tries to buy Mel and Wash's freedom. Niska says there is only enough for one man, and Zoe chooses Wash, leaving Mel behind to be tortured to the brink of death. Zoe gets washed back to Serenity and organizes his rescue mission with the entire crew, except for Anar and River. As the others fight their way through the skyplex, Kaylee is cornered near the Serenity, too frightened to shoot back. River finds her, takes Kaylee's gun, closes her eyes, and kills all of her attackers without hesitation. Seeing his abductor distracted, Mal gets up effortlessly despite the hours of pain he has endured and proceeds to beat a terrified Niska before his torture room. His torture interferes, <clears throat> allowing the Kramler to escape. Zoe, Jane, and Wash arrive and gun down Mal's attacker, saving his life. Back on the ship, Anora's former client provides Simon with the expensive medical medical technology needed to treat Mal's needed to treat Mal's injuries. As Wash sits down to a bowl of wife soup, Mal surprises him by declaring that he must sleep with Zoe to deal with any lingering sexual tension between them causing Wash to abandon his meal so he can spend time with his wife. Back in the cargo hold, Kaylee stares at River with a look of fear on her face, no longer wanting to play with her. Aww. So let's take a look at some continuity surrounding this episode. The opening scene, where Simon's prodding through River's brain scans and book speaks of Simon's great heist, refers to the entirety of the previous episode, Ariel. Before Niska intervenes, the crew is in the process of selling the stolen medicine from Ariel. River's sharpshooting skill becomes a point of contention in the episode Objects in Space, as well as the feature movie Serenity. Jane's apparent generosity, buying a large, buying a large amount of fresh fruit for the crew, is alluding to guilty feelings about his portrayal of Simon and River, as well as Mal, in the episode Ariel. Well, that's kind of nice of him. So, yeah. So, overall, I think this episode is pretty dang good, and yeah, let's just say that, uh... That River definitely uh, is going through some things, so yeah. So anyway, 
So overall, I gave the episode War Stories four fireflies out of five. Why don't we tune in next time as we take a look at the next episode, Trash. So until then, remember everyone, you can't take the sky from me.